Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I am back after another break. Well, I mean, I guess I did my little grocery haul, but now I'm back with the makeup. Um, the first thing I did was use concealer on my eyes, and now I'm going through and using P. Louise um, base on my eyes as well, because we are going to do a lovely mustard look today. Um, I don't do my skin on here just because I did it on TikTok. So if you want to know my TikTok, I'll leave it down below. Um, but I wanted to do skin on TikTok and then over here I wanted to do eyes. I will probably switch it up and do a little bit of both on both channels, like both my YouTube and my TikTok. Um, anyways. So I just wanted that in and then we're going in with this affordable palette. This is all affordable stuff. Um, this is the Lottie London Honey Bee palette. You can get this at some Walmarts and I think you can also get it at Ulta maybe online still. Um, I can't remember if it's still online there or not. Um, but right now I'm just using the, t the like darker mustard shade. And I'm just using that to create a line and, like, angle that I want. Um, and then I'm taking the two brown, reddish-brown shades in there. And I'm just making a line underneath that so that when we cut the crease, there will be some definition there. Um, we are doing a full cut crease today. If you've never seen one, you're about to see one. It's very easy. Um, my cut crease I didn't bring up as high today and I kind of prefer that. Um, I usually bring it up pretty high, but I don't know. Maybe that was just like this look in particular because usually I like to bring it up pretty high and I like it like that. So, um, just doing the same thing to the other eye, obviously. And then I am just buffing out the edges with some of that mustard colored shade. At the very end, I go in with the lighter yellow and I buff out that too. Um, but yeah, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself, even though this is only a four minute thing. Um, then I'm putting some concealer on and I'm not opening my eye or like opening my eye all the way because I want this concealer to go a little bit below my actual crease or actually like in my actual crease because I wanted to try that method pretty much. Um, and then I am going to just blend that out with the brush and make sure that's all blended out. And then I'm going to take those two red browns again and I'm going to redefine the crease color so that there's something, you know, um, making it stand out from the cut crease. And then I'm taking just any cream color. I took the one from the brunette, um, melt one melt palette and I am just packing on just the cream color. I wanted it to be an all matte look other than we're going to add some rhinestones later, but I wanted to make it all matte. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. I went off and I did the other eye, did my face makeup, and then I put some gems on and I'm going to uh, apply the rest of the gems now. These are just from um, Joann's. So they're just some orangey colored gems because it did turn out a little bit more orange than ye yellow, but that's okay. Um, I liked it a lot anyways. Um, but anyways, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Don't like, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys in the next one. Here's the finished look coming at you now.